Today we're going to be painting the top part of Yang part 1 for our beast figure. It all started from the slicer, so this is a top part. Uh, this is Cheeto Box and I'm preparing it to print. Save the file to a USB, plug it in your printer. This is an Elgo Mars Pro. Uh, and then after a few hours, like it took 6 hours to print this. And there you have it. This is a 1-6 scale of the top part of Yang. Safety first, guys. So I'm just putting on my gloves because resin, poly, po UV polymer resin are very dangerous, especially if you're in contact with any surface that uh, radiates UV rays or something like that, like the sun, your phone, whatever. This will burn your skin. Right now, it doesn't, but it will if you get in contact to any UV thing. And it's very dangerous, guys. Really, if you're gonna do this at home or if you have a printer, always, always, always safety first because resin is very dangerous. I have burnt marks in my right arm, so yeah, be careful. I'm just removing Yang out of the build plate with, uh, I, f I think it's a paint scraper tool that comes with the printer. I have to be very careful because, you know, I don't want to break Yang because right now the print is very delicate and it's very raw. So I have to be extra careful when I'm pulling out the figure. Okay, time to clean Yang's boobs. Um, this is a pickle jar cleaner. I don't know what they call this thing. I think it's pickle something. So this is a... 90% IPA solution that I'm dunking the prints on because prints has like of course still excess res resin on them so we have to really remove them in IPA at 90% doing a great job of cleaning and letting it sit for a while before I do a little more rinsing so I go ahead and remove the supports. When you dip this in IPA, supports are very easy to remove. They're very thin, actually. That helps uh, support from the name, uh, the prints, because of course you can't print, because gravity exists in thin air. So yeah, very easy to apply. I did a little more rinsing up and down. Look at Yang, very clean. Hoo -hoo. I let this air dry because it's alcohol. It's easy for them to dry quickly because it's the next process is another way of cleaning this. So air dry for like probably five minutes and we're good to go. Just showing you guys another print that I made from my other printer. It's pretty cool. This is from Loot Studios. Just just want to share. Pretty, really, really cool. Super happy. Gotta clean the workspace because again, resin is a killer. So <laughs> clean, 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 clean. Rinsing Yang with water and dishwashing soap. I'm also doing this with this Blake head here that I want to show you guys. Pretty cool. It's still raw. Uh, this resin's a little bit greasy after you clean them. So I'm, this is why I'm using a dishwashing liquid because it's a degreaser. Yank out the excess things. Also wipe down Yang after you clean it. This is basically uh, almost done for curing time. So make sure she's dry because if you're going to cure this wet it leaves white speckle marks it's so annoying to clean so make sure it's very dry side by side comparison of a 1 6 yang and a 112 yang and the 112 one is the gray one and the other olive green one is the 1 6 one They're pretty big and i'm very happy with them if you're wondering what this is this is a makeshift uv curing light chamber that i made for curing prints and i put yang in and just close it and let it her let her to cure probably for five to ten minutes if you don't have a uv curing chamber you could use the sun right now in the philippines we're fudging 50 degrees celsius i don't know what this is in american it's very strong uv light so i'm Putting a rack outside of a table I have on my garden and let the other prints dry, which I have a bajillion of them right now. Now we're preparing to sand uh, Yang. We have to sand her like any model maker knows this. You have to sand down your prints, so blah blah blah, smoothen them out, clean them, and prep them for primer, which is what we're gonna do here. I have a lot of sanding stuff. I have sanding paper, sanding sticks, sanding files whatever just make sure every edge is clean remove the support lines sprue lines in other modeling terms and make sure everything's smooth and snazzy
Now we're gonna prime Yang with this water-based acrylic matte gray primer by Hyrule Pins. And I skip a lot of posts because this video is taking forever. So after I prime this, I just already put my base coats, which is I'm using here is Armored Komodo water-based acrylics. Amazing hobby grade professional grade paints that i always my go-to for making our figures i really love their paints i'm technically not sponsored by them they do sponsor me sometimes and but this is just a free shout out because they're amazing amazing paints now i'm doing more details on yang uh this is gonna be a long process this is why it's uh, separated by parts but uh more details adding more flair to her hair maybe fix up some of her outfits so yeah this is pretty much it so far for this first part of this video like look at that oh she's smiling oh, so love struck i love it so yeah, guys, thank you for supporting me and watching this video. I hope you guys follow for the next iteration for this and hope you guys love it. See you guys next time.